Ah, you've clicked on that button that said more information for Whimsical Wonderland. If we haven't met before, my name's Sam and I'm an artist, predominantly known for painting cows, but I get all up to all sorts of other projects too and I very often invite you along. Now, Whimsical Wonderland is all about and inspired by Alice's adventures in Wonderland and I don't know if you're anything like me but um, when you looked at these illustrations as a kid they really captured your imagination, they stuck in your mind so much so that you really remember them well as an adult and I think it's good fun to revisit things as an adult that you remember well as a child. One just to sort of play with your imagination and, and bring imagination back into your creativity as well and as an adult we get, we get too serious and we get bogged down with to-do lists and responsibilities and obligations that it's really great to have a creative project that you just get lost into. So once a month you will receive a painting project which will be to create a character from Alice in Wonderland and this will make a collection called a Whimsical Wonderland and our first character is the White Rabbit. Now I've painted him large behind me but I will be teaching you how to paint on these panel boards. So you've got an option each month of painting relatively small, easy to store, easy to frame, or really going for a large piece. Maybe save your large pieces for when you come across a character that really sparks your creativity and you really wanna go for it. So let me run through a few bits and bobs so you know what I'll be using. Now, first of all, as Alice says, cup of tea before adventure good cup of tea before adventure. So you know the boards I'm going to be painting on, the links down in the information. I'm also going to be using these De La Rowley acrylics. This is a mid-range type of acrylic and these 37 mil tubes should see you through most of the 12 months of painting on this size. However, if you're going to go big on a regular occasion, you might want to treat yourself to the bigger bottles. I'd maybe start out with the smaller selection pack because it's um it gets you it gets you going and then once you figure out what your favorite colors are and what you're using the most of probably black and white then you can treat yourself to a wee bit more so the brushes i will be using are three simple brushes now i love a square flathead brush so I tend to call this one the medium flathead brush and the small flathead brush really good for shading, really good for blocking. And we're going to go with a small detail brush as well. We don't spend too much time on that one, but it is really handy to have. And another um, good one to have is a big decorator's brush, just in case you are going to go and scale up your favourite drawings as well. Now, every month you will get a grid so you can practice the shapes and drawing the composition and design onto your panel really easily. And you'll also get a colour palette swatch so you'll know exactly what colours I'm using. So you can decide if you use the same colours as me or you pick your favourite colours and design it uniquely for your own colour palette. Now, the projects will have step-by-step -step guides, both written and you'll have me on a video breaking down the lesson into about six or seven stages. And those six or seven stages will take you through from blank canvas to finished piece of work. And by the end of the 12 months, you will have all sorts of characters. And you know the characters I mean, like the White Rabbit, the Queen of Hearts, Alice herself. We're gonna get the Mad Hatter in there. And we've got the cute little Dormouse too. There's so much to do and I'm really excited with what I've designed to teach you and share with you. It's going to be good fun. So I'll see you in class.